Hello, internet fans. It's your old pal Rotten Roger DeMarco here from 3bproductionco.com. And yeah, it's Monday again. So by now, you know what that means. And that's right, it's time for another Rotten Roger Recommends video. So today, we're gonna be talking about Brad Anderson's 2001 film, Session 9. Mm -hmm. Again, continuing on with my trend of this month's recommends doing a little bit different style of horror, a little bit more on the psychological edge. We gotta talk about Session 9. This movie blew my mind the first time that I saw it and still does during subsequent viewings. Every time I watch it, I'm like, wow, this is so good. But either way, here is your plot synopsis. Gordon and his crew take on a job removing asbestos from a closed down mental institution. And they sort of goat their way into getting this job by promising they can get it done faster than all the other contractors in the area. They bite off a little bit more than they can chew, so they're stressed out, they're struggling, working very long hours in this mental institution, trying to get the job done in a timely fashion so that they can receive these giant bonuses. Only the stress of being in this mental institution, some unforeseen things start playing tricks on everyone in the film and messing with them and I can't give much away. I don't want to spoil this movie. From Jump Street, from the opening frame of the film, you see these characters and you think, this is not going to work out. Very similar to the way the original Pet Cemetery makes me feel. From the very beginning, there's just this overhanging sense of dread in the film. This also stars Josh Lucas before he became Josh Lucas. I don't really know how else to put this to you other than this is essential. If you are a fan of psychological thrillers, if you are a fan of isolation horror, this is right up your alley and you've got to see it. So if I have swayed you, click the link in the description and get a copy of Session 9 today. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go edit something. Goodbye, internet friends. Oh my god, no.